Hey guys, it's Mike with Faithful Farm. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on where I grow my plants and how I set up my grow station. Also, where you set your lights up, you want them at a certain height above your plants, and you want about 16 hours of light. So first off, I have a four-tier shelf that I bought at Home Depot for about $40. You have to assemble it yourself, but it's very, very easy to. Next, I have these lights here that are held up by chains. The lights are two separate pieces. It's a fixture, which is this top part that I'm touching right now. And then on the bottom, if I turn it over, it might be a little bright. There's two bulbs in there that are sold separately. They have lights where you can buy it all in one. And they label them grow lights. I used it once. Really no difference. Just more expensive. I think they are around $50 just for one light. This you buy separately. I bought these fixtures at Walmart for $10 each and then I bought a 10 pack from Home Depot of T8 bulbs for around $50 and you just turn this over and it has little slots in it that you stick the bulb in, you twist it, you hear a click and you're good to go. Down here this is one of my old lights from my other house this is a T12 fixture, I bought this at Home Depot separately I think it was around the same 10 to 12 dollars and this is for t12 bulbs which are a little bit thicker in diameter i swapped over to the th this year because i read up on it and it has more intense light and it actually is more energy efficient supposedly so we'll we'll test that out and see how true that is with the lights each fixture that you buy will come with chains that's how I adjust my lights to go up and down. Cell phone. With the lights, how you want to set them up are that you want them to be two to four inches above your plants. You want them that close because you want intense light to shine directly on them so that they don't grow leggy which means that for example I have some peppers here if my lights were five six seven inches above these when they break the surface they'll be all stem for another for about another inch higher than what they are now and then they would start leafing out which means it will have a weak stem and it won't be a healthy transplant that goes for all different types of plants I'm not sure if there's legginess for onions and shallots because they already grow leggy looking, I guess. Um, but you want to keep them two to four inches at all times because you want short, stocky, bushy plants that will be healthy for your transplants when they go outside. Here's a quick video update on my plants. Those are shallots over there that I overseeded. You could check out my other video on how I did that. I overseeded onions. They're taking a little bit longer. I'll do another video on all of these and what I have planted in different generations and times and rates and all that good stuff. Those are some peppers. Got down here some tomatoes. Again, two to four inches above. Some thyme. Now there's two different ways you can adjust your lights. You could do what I do and adjust by that chain. I would just tighten this right here and the light will go up this way and I would do the same thing on that side. Or you can start already with your light as, as uh, high as it can go and put books or magazines or whatever you have, boxes, underneath the flats and you can raise it up and down that way. This bottom tier I have a bigger space from the bottom to this top because when I'm ready 
and I transplant all these plants into bigger pots. So I'm going to have it down here. And I eventually actually might adjust this one too. So I have two shells of a good, uh, greater distance for transplants. In the back there I have tin foil. Tin foil is very handy because it reflects light back in towards your plants. These fixtures that I bought, they're a little wide, wider than the T12 fixture that I have down there. I tried to put two next to each other, they just wouldn't fit. So I taped some tin foil on the back. I'm doing a little different experiment with this too. I love doing little experiments to figure out what works best. There's a shiny side on the tin foil and a duller side. This side is the shiny, this side is the dull. I just want to see if there's any impact on growth. And also, with the, I'm going to end up putting tin foil on the back of the closet door to also reflect light in to the front. You want to keep your lights on for 16 hours when they first germinate. And pop through the seed starting mix because that's the most important time to have intense light. If you don't have good light when they first emerge, they will grow leggy. I've had many experiences with that. I will, uh, you know what I'll do? I will show you what a leggy plant looks like. I'll plant some stuff right after this and I'll show you in a couple weeks what it looks like. Because what, actually what it means is if it's dark and you don't have any light or the light's too high, the plant is growing to find the light and if there's no light for it to find it will just keep growing that stem it'll it could actually grow up to like two inches which is no good so you want them off for 16 hours for the first week after germination good intense light 16 hours on eight hours off and then after that first week you can lower it down if you wish to 14 hours and then another week after that, you could lower them down to 12. And then once you transplant them into bigger pots, the amount of light, the height of the light, does not really matter as much as when you first plant them and they first germinate. The biggest help with the light, I would say, are timers. You don't have to worry about when you put the light on last, if you've done it for 16 hours, you get all confused. I've done that my first year and timers just make life a whole lot easier. So I bought this timer that's down here off Amazon for 20 bucks. And all you do is this, this section over here is built into the timer. This section over here is just regular outlets that are always on that you could use for anything else. And this is the dial that you set. You twist it and you set it at the current time. And then around at the edges, there are little black levers that you click for how many ever how many, however many hours you want it to be on. So I have this on for 16 hours. These three lights um, cords go to each of these lights. What I used to use is something like this. I bought this at Home Depot for eight bucks. It has two outlets that you can connect two lights into, and it's the same concept. You twist this to the current time, and then these silver or gray uh, levers you just push down. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, you want them to start up top or pushed out first. See how it's a little bit elevated and then you just push those down to the set time that you want. That works really well, I just needed something bigger for what I have going on here. So, all in all that's my grow station. I grow, I'm going to try to figure something out where I could squeeze some more plants in here. Um, but I grow four, four flats full on a four tier shelf. You can buy five if you wish, or three. It doesn't have to be four. Whatever works for you. And that's my 
grow station. I'll be doing another video in about a week on an update of all my plants. What I've planted, how long everything took to germinate, when I planted them. And I'm actually going to be planting some, some more uh, vegetables in the future. And I'll do some videos on that too. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, any questions, please feel free to ask them below. Give me a subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, have a great day and God bless.